The telephone as a service is a huge environment, and that is the medium. And the environment affects everybody. What you say on the telephone affects very few. And the same with radio or any other medium. Very interesting. Andy here, Humber College Center for Teaching and Learning. That's Marshall McLuhan. The medium is the message. Speaking of large environments that affect us all, and I'm speaking of one which affects students and teachers in higher education, and that is Blackboard 9.1. What we're going to do today specifically is we're going to learn how to embed a YouTube video and a Google form into an item that you might have in your learning materials in Blackboard. Let me show you. I have Blackboard here. I have my sandbox class up where I'm playing around in. Uh, here is week one learning materials and in week one we find this 180 degree rule um, item. And this is uh, course material which I might deliver by lecture or I could deliver it in a flipped class situation which I'm doing right here. So online in YouTube I have found a video, it's quite good, it's three minutes long on what the 180 degree rule is. So I'll have the students watch that and then after they've finished watching they're going to answer a few questions. What don't they understand about what they've seen? Um, they're going to think a little bit about what they've seen and I'm going to have them answer those questions with a Google form. And the Google form allows me to timestamp their responses with names and also brings all of the answers together into one spreadsheet. So we're going to learn how to make the Google form, uh, embed both of these inside of a single item inside Blackboard. Task number one, we want to put that YouTube video inside of our new learning material item. So we'll go to week two here and I am going to build content. I'm going to build an item. I am going to name it the 180 degree rule. That is some loud typing. Um, that's good. We're going to get our mouse down here in the body of the um, <clears throat> item and we're going to go to YouTube because we need a URL. So down in our YouTube video, we can click our share button and we get a highlighted URL here, which we'll Apple see or copy. We will go back to Blackboard, learn. And how will we embed this in the body of our item? Well, we'll go to this little icon here, which is insert edit embedded media. Click on it. We're gonna paste the URL in here. Now I know sometimes Blackboard has a few um, eccentricities um, and this is one of them. Um, if I try to insert this, uh, undefined is not an object. I don't get it, I don't get it. So what I do is, just from playing around, is I'm gonna just call it a quick time, see if that works. Oh, and it shows up. So embed, drop down, iframe or quick time. Just do it, thank you. Insert, boom, and there's our video. Our video doesn't show up right now. We have to save this, submit it, so to speak, and we will have it show up. Actually, let's submit it right now and we'll look at it. Make sure it's there. So, um, submit. <coughs> Excuse me. There's my 180 degree rule. 180 degree rule. Twirl down. Oh, let's take the edit mode off. Ooh, there it is. So there's the video inside of my 180 degree rule. I have no instructions yet, so let's further build this um, with a Google form and some instructions to begin. Ah, uh, we were left with this simple item, which is just a YouTube video. We want some instructions and we want a Google form in there with it. So let's go to Google, my Gmail account. We all should have Gmail accounts for this. We go to Google Drive. We go to create, and we're going to create a form. We're going to call it the 180 degree rule. And we're going to pick the default look. And this is our little work area. First question that we're going to have for the students, what is your name? I'm going to make that a required question. And the question type is just simple text and I am done with that question. If 
For the next questions, I'm going to just go to a Word document that I've made up um, because I'm not a fast typer. So with respect to the audience's perception, what happens if you cross the axis when shooting close-ups? Well, good question. I want the students to answer that. So let's add that item. Question type will be paragraph text. Make it a required question. Done. Add item. Next question. Um, let's just go right to the end here because we don't have much time. What don't you understand about the 180 degree rule? Great question. Um, we will Apple V that and it is paragraph text and we require that question and we're done. So we're done with the questions. Next, we, next thing we're going to do is we're going to send form which basically means we want to make this thing active or happen. So let's send form up here top right and we get a dialog box which says you have a link to share. You could send this link to people but we want to embed this thing inside of Blackboard. And embedding is, just, embedding is just a fancy way of doing it so that it is part of the code and it comes up seamlessly. So I'm going to click on this, Apple C to copy that, embed code it's called. I'm going to go back to Blackboard. I'm going to go and edit this guy. How do I edit him? How do I edit him? Oh, right here. I'm editing my simple YouTube video. Um, I will put my cursor beside the YouTube video. It's flashing black right here, you can see. Press return a couple of times to give myself room down there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into HTML land. Don't freak out, just follow the instructions. Remember, with the Google Form, I got the embed code, not the URL, the embed code. I'm now inside of here, which is Blackboard. I'm going to go to HTML. I'm going to view this HTML code. Oh my goodness. This is just computer speak for setting up all of that YouTube stuff. I'm going to paste Apple V, that embed code for the Google Form, inside this HTML view code window. And I'm going to update it. Watch this. Uh, and I get this other yellow box down here, which will turn into the Google Form. First, I want to put some instructions here. So I'm going to go back up, get my cursor. Whoops. I'm going to hit return. Put my cursor right here. Um, go to my Word. Please watch the video and answer the questions that follow. Copy that. Put it inside. Here we go. Oh, it should be up there, shouldn't it? It should be before the YouTube video. So let's go like this. Put the cursor. The big block of video acts like a block of text. Apple V, please watch the video and answer the questions that follow. Uh, bring this block a little bit higher. And I think it's done. Let's submit it. Doesn't look like much right now, but we'll submit it. We don't see what's happening here until we turn off our edit mode. And now we look at the item. Please watch the video and answer questions that follow. And there are the questions that follow. And so anybody who gets this page can put in their name and answer the questions. And what you get at the end all of, of all of it is if you go to your Google um, Gmail account and you go into your drive, you'll see the 180 degree rule um, is right here. And then responses would be right here. And these are the responses you'll get. So as soon as a student signs in, they'll be time stamped right here. What time did they sign in at? Their name, their answers, and their answers. So you have it all compiled in one place. You can copy and paste it into other um, documents. You can use it as a resource when you're um, have the students come in and actually practice the 180 degree, 180 degree rule. Anyway, there, there you have it. We have um, just gone into this large environment and we've uh, played around, put YouTube in there, um, put uh, Google Form in there, and uh, hopefully it will affect our students and we'll sort of dip our toes into their digital stream, so to speak. So I'm going to leave you now and watch a little more Marshall McLuhan. 
good luck with that. And if you have any questions, email us at Humber College Center for Teaching and Learning. My name is Andy, and I'll have a link for you at the end for uh, questions. Thanks. Bye. What you print is nothing compared to the effect of the printed word. The printed word sets up a paradigm, a structure of...